All right, so there's three things you can do with the exhaust. Uh, I'll start up here with the top. The, um, the throw here on the valve insert has a pretty good size lip. On the actual insert itself, so you can go in there with your, you know, die grinder, pneumatic grinder, electric grinder, carefully, and increase the circumference there, the diameter. Um, again, targeting 85% for my application. You can go 90, 90 plus in, you know, dedicated race, and through here taking measurements into the bowl to verify on the shorts on the short turn you don't want to touch the short turn through here you want to increase the bowl diameter for volume into the guide boss into the guide boss you can see the casting has a large diameter of material that's restricting the, some of the flow and you're probably thinking well once you start eliminating this material what's holding the, the boss you don't you don't have to completely eliminate it I mean this is a pretty long valve guide into the core we just want to have a nice taper nice chamfer through the exit and this isn't going to be used in an application so I, I'm going to clean up this is all carbide burr all that works carbide burr on the exhaust maintain your diameter through here 85 90 percent and then on the exit open up you don't have to gasket match but you're gonna you're gonna want to widen the flow or widen the uh, the port to meet your your area your your volume and you can see why this is junk again do a little bit of comparison I should probably turn these over I want to show you something else this is a main cause for your valve train noise factory lower shim washer OEM spring look at this look at the, the idea on this how much wiggle there there is compared to meeting the meeting the concentricity through this the spring you're, you know, when you're spinning RPM, this is in here vibrating, and yeah, you can quiet it down with some thick oil, sure. But you know, this this is production design. You have tolerancing, you have stack up between everything, and then to top it off, the retainer. Look at all that. And that's what replacing the spring set. You have a lower locator that's going to locate the ID of the spring, minimize any play there, and then the retainer. The retainer, and I'll probably do a video later on this once the heads are assembled. That's, you know, tight fit, slip fit, and then your keeper's going to keep it, everything in there concentric.